Hello friends, welcome to 90 plus virtual lab. We all know that lab activities help us in the easy understanding of biological concepts, right? So today, let's start with our new experiment, distribution of stomata on the two surfaces of a leaf. We know that stomata are the microscopic pores found on the epidermis of leaves and young shoots. They help in the process of photosynthesis, respiration and gas exchange. And they are also responsible for the water loss through transpiration. We are already familiar with this structure of stomata, right? This slit-like opening which you can see here is called the stomatal pore. The kidney-shaped structures surrounding the pore are called as guard cells. There are also two or more specialized cells present around these guard cells and these are known as the subsidiary cells. This is the basic structure of stomata. Now shall we see what are the major objectives of this experiment? It is to study the distribution of stomata on the upper and lower surfaces of a leaf and to calculate stomatal index. Now let us get to know what are the basic requirements needed for this experiment. We will need a compound microscope, fresh leaf of petunia, slides, cover slips, forceps, brush, needle, a dropper, watch glasses, a beaker containing distilled water, safranin, glycerin and blotting paper. With this, all the requirements needed to do this experiment are ready. So now, shall we move on to our experiment? In order to find out the distribution of stomata, we need to take the peels of the upper and lower surfaces of a leaf. For this, we have selected a fresh leaf from the petunia plant. Now let us see how to take the peels from the leaf. Before that, using a dropper, collect a few drops of distilled water onto two watch glasses provided here. After this, we shall carefully take the peel from the upper surface of the petunia leaf. Like this, we can tear the peel from the upper surface of the leaf. Then, with the help of a forceps, we can transfer this peel to this watch glass here. Like this, we can also take the peel from the lower surface of the petunia leaf. For this, we can tear the peel from the lower surface. Now, using the forceps, we can transfer this peel to the watch glass. So now, we have obtained the upper and lower surface peels of the petunia leaf in two separate watch glasses. Next, we need to stain these peels. For this, we make use of a stain called safranin. A few drops of safranin can be added to the upper surface peel in the watch glass. Similarly, a few drops of safranin can be added to the lower surface peel too. Now, in two separate watch glasses, we can add a few drops of distilled water. Using a brush, we can transfer the upper surface peel to one watch glass containing the distilled water. The lower surface peel can also be transferred to the next watch glass in a similar way. This is done to remove the excess stain from the peels. Now we are going to observe these stained peels under the microscope. For this, we need to mount these two peels onto a slide. First, let's see how to mount the upper surface peel onto the slide. For this, take a clean slide. Then, using a brush, transfer the upper surface peel of the leaf onto this slide. To this, add a few drops of glycerin. Now, 
with the help of a needle hold the cover slip at 45 degrees and cover the peel placed on the slide this step is performed with utmost care to prevent the entry of air bubbles like this we can also mount the lower surface peel onto the slide for this using a brush transfer the lower surface peel onto a different slide to this slide also we can add a few drops of glycerin then cover it using a cover slip now we have both the slides ready now we can remove any excess glycerin from the slides using a blotting paper it is these peels that we are going to observe under the microscope now the microscope that we are going to use is a compound microscope now are you not keen to know what results we will obtain when we observe the upper epidermal peel under the microscope for this first let's observe the upper epidermal peel under the microscope wow it's interesting here we can clearly see the stomata and epidermal cells now let's count the number of stomata seen here here the total number of stomata is 4 likewise we shall also count the number of epidermal cells here the total number of epidermal cells is 42 now we have to find out its stomatal index do you guys know how it's found out there is an equation for it it goes like this stomatal index is equal to number of stomata divided by number of stomata plus number of epidermal cells into 100 now using this equation we will see how to calculate the stomatal index by substituting the values we got from the experiment here that is stomatal index is equal to 4 divided by 4 plus 42 into 100 we get 8.6 therefore the stomatal index we obtained after observing the upper epidermal peel under the microscope is 8.6 in the same way we will also observe the lower epidermal peel under the microscope for this let's place the lower epidermal peel under the microscope here also the stomata and the epidermal cells can be seen very clearly here the total number of stomata is 11 and the total number of epidermal cells is 44 now using the equation shall we calculate its stomatal index that is stomatal index is equal to 11 divided by 11 plus 44 into 100 we get 20 so now we have found out the stomatal indices of both the upper epidermis and lower epidermis now let us see the major observation that was made through this experiment the number of stomata is more in the lower epidermis and only a few stomata are present in the upper epidermis hence through this experiment we have understood that the stomatal distribution in a petunia leaf is more on its lower surface right using this same procedure we can also find out the stomatal distribution in the leaf of lily can you guys guess what result we will obtain when we calculate the stomatal indices of the upper and lower surfaces of the leaf of a lily the stomatal indices of the upper and lower surfaces of a lily leaf are equal so i hope through this experiment you guys must have understood how to find out the stomatal distribution of different plants using the stomatal index equation